Hello everyone. In today's video, I wanted to take a look at this six color palette that I read about on handprint.com. It's called the secondary palette. Um, according to handprint, it offers the most evenly balanced and highly saturated range of mixing possibilities of any minimal palette. Does it actually do this? I don't know, but it definitely has enough pigments to mix most things. If you remember the video I did previously on the CMYK palette, um, it's made up of phthalo blue, magenta and yellow. Well, this secondary palette is kind of an extension of that um, with three added pigments in the areas where the mixes are less saturated. By adding these pigments in the secondary spots, orange, blue, violet and green, it makes it possible to mix the color wheel at close to maximum saturation. I wasn't particularly unhappy with the results from the CMYK palette, but the extra pigments should make a lot of difference. Okay, so here are the colors in the secondary palette. First is Rembrandt Oriolin, which is PY150. Other brands call this Nickel Azo Yellow. Uh, then we have Rembrandt Cadmium Red, PR108. This is the added orange in the palette. Next is Rembrandt Quinacridone Rose Magenta, PR122. Uh, then as the added blue violet, we have uh, Rembrandt Ultramarine Deep, which is PB29. And as the cyan, we have Rembrandt Thalo Blue Red Shade, PB15. I could have used the green shade for this, but I prefer this one. And finally, we've got Van Gogh Thalo Green, PB, oh, sorry, PG7. Um, Handprint recommends the PG36, but I, this is the only one I have. Okay, that's all six pigments painted out. Uh, let's see how they look in a color wheel. Okay, so here's my slightly wonky color wheel. Uh, I'm going to start by painting out the CMY pigments. So first we have the PY150 yellow. This is a new pigment to me, so, and yeah, I'm really loving it. It's transparent, highly tinting, and can go from a yellow brown to a clear mid yellow. There are other yellows you can use, such as PY154 or PY151. Next is the PR122 Quinacridone Rose Magenta. Uh, you could of course use PV19 here instead. And then the PB15 Thalo Blue Red Shade as the cyan. Um, Handprint recommend the green shade, but yeah, this one works fine too, I think. Um, you could use a cerulean blue, but that's more opaque and weaker tinting. Right, so that's the CMY pigments painted out. In theory, you should be able to mix pretty much any color with these. Uh, this is what your home printer likely uses, just these three colors and black. Right, now I'm gonna start adding the secondary pigments. So first is cadmium red medium, which is PR108. This is our red orange. I could have used cadmium red light, I guess, but I went with this one. Then ultramarine deep PB29 for our blue violet. Another option you could use is Indanthrene Blue, PB60, but I think Ultramarine is a better choice, in my opinion, for mixing violets. And then the final pigment is Thalo Green, PG7. Uh, this is the blue shade of Thalo Green. The yellow shade of Thalo Green, which is PG36, might have been a better choice. I think it's a better mixing complement to the magenta. Uh, but as I don't have a PG36, this is the one I have to use. So now onto the mixing part of the wheel. First, I'm going to mix the yellow and orange to make uh, orange yellow. Looks okay, a bit like a Queen Gold maybe. 
Uh, it's more saturated than I remember in the CMYK color wheel, I think. Uh, now I'm going to mix the magenta and orange to make a red. Wow, this one, it definitely makes a nice bright red. Uh, now mix the magenta and ultramarine to make a violet. These two pigments always make a nice saturated violet. Now I'm going to mix the ultramarine and thalo blue and try and make a middle blue. Um, I messed up this mix a little bit. Uh, it's a bit too much like the ultramarine, I think. We'll have to wait and see how it looks when it's dry. Uh, now I'm going to mix the thalo blue and thalo green to make a green blue. And finally, the phthalo green and the PY150 yellow to make a yellow green. Yeah, I really do like these mixes I get with this PY150. It's a really nice pigment. Okay, so here's the color wheel when it's dry. Um, I would definitely say it gives more vibrant mixes than the CMYK palette, but then it should, as it's really just an extension of that palette and has six pigments rather than three. Um, it would probably be better to compare it to another six pigment palette, such as the Split Primary. Uh, the Split Primary consists of six pigments. It's a warm and cool yellow, warm and cool red, and a warm and cool blue, hence the name Split Primary. Uh, I would definitely say that this secondary palette gives more saturated mixes, and it's also easier to mix darks, I think. Uh, though I do have a bit of a soft spot for the split primary. I kind of find it nice to use. Um, maybe I should make a video on the split primary and compare it to this one. Right, so now I'm going to try and paint something with this palette. Um, I think I'm just going to paint my usual sky and trees. Uh, I've never actually painted anything with this palette of colors before, so... I'm not really sure how this is going to turn out. Uh, I usually hate painting with a green. I'll definitely, yeah, definitely say that, especially phthalo green is it's the worst for me. Uh, right, okay. Uh, as it's not a tutorial, I'll put on some music and speed things up a bit, and I'll be back once the painting's done.
Okay, so that's all done now. And here it is when it's dry and in slightly better light. Uh, well, it definitely wasn't easy for me painting with this palette, but I think that's more to do with me rather than any shortcomings the palette may have. Um, it's really just, I hate painting with phthalo green. It just drives me crazy. It's like, for some reason, I always mix horrible greens with it, no matter what I try and do. Uh, yeah, I'm much, much happier and more comfortable mixing my own greens just from yellows and blues. Um, other than the green, I think I think this color combination is really good. Uh, I'm sure with a bit of practice, I could do pretty much whatever I want with it. So what do you think of this secondary palette? Um, do you have any experience painting with it already? And what do you think about it compared with a split primary? Do you think it's easier to use? I don't, I don't really know, to be honest. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments. And thank you very much for watching. I'll catch you in the next video. Bye bye.